Welcome to Fortnite Chapter 4. So you, you just loaded up the game and you hop into your game and you're like, bro, my FPS is literally cut in half. Is Fortnite even playable anymore? It, it looks so different. I'm here to show you today that it, it is runnable and how to fix it because I got into the game and, and I was like, I have an RTX 3080 and I don't even think I can, <laughs> I don't even think I can run it. This is like PC problems at their finest, man. So the culprit of this new graphics update being so demanding in chapter four of Fortnite is this thing called Nanite. What developers would use before are these things called LODs, which stands for levels of detail. It is like the further things get away from you, they just load in a lower and lower quality asset because you can't really tell the details from a distance. Obviously, you can see by this footage it has weird issues with textures popping in and out. So that's where Nanite comes in. So Nanite is a new way of rendering polygons on 3D objects. And what it does is from a distance, it can dynamically change how many polygons are on an object. What this does is it gives you some advantages. The developers don't actually have to code as much for the games. Is all they can, all they have to do is drop a texture in, or drop a drop an asset into the game, and say this tree. the The whole engine will just do the work. It's going to dynamically change how many polygons are on this tree. The further and further I go away, so what this does is just saves developers a lot of time and a lot of expenses. But what Unreal Engine Five hasn't really like accounted for is that it's still it still is pretty taxing on your system just to do that. Yeah, it gives freedom to the developers, but it, it is more demanding. And that's why when you loaded up your game, it is so much more demanding and you're like, bro, is it even worth it? That's up to you to decide. Still comes with many advantages. The game looks hyper detailed now, which I think is pretty amazing. They have pebbles everywhere. From a distance here, that tree doesn't look like it's lost any quality. Everything, I think it looks fucking beautiful. It's a very big change from what it was before. Uh, graphically, chapter four looks so much different than the other chapters. So what we're gonna do is show you, hey, I wanna play Fortnite still, and I still wanna maintain my 140 FPS or whatever. PC life rules. Let me show you how to adjust that. You can't disable Nanite when you're in a match. So keep that in mind. But all I would do, I mean, it's not, it's not that complicated. You see there's Nanite here, turn that shit off. And you're gonna see it changes a bunch of other settings at the same time because Nanite and the new technology also that is added to Fortnite is called Lumen, which does all of the reflections and the shadows and the global illumination. If you know what that stuff is, you know it looks cool. They need each other to exist. If you turn off Nanite, Lumen doesn't exist anymore. And it goes back to traditional rendering for shadows and stuff. So all we did was turn off Nanite and we're still basically at the epic preset. We just turned off Nanite. Or just with that simple flick of a switch, let's go back into a game in the exact same area. We're gonna see what looks different and also what kind of FPS we're getting. All right, Battle Bus flew in. You can see we turned off Nanite. We're at 165 FPS right now. We haven't landed yet, but you're gonna see. We're still in epic settings. Still, this is as high quality as at least chapter three Fortnite would have been running. So you can see that in the pipeline, epic, even though Nanite is so hard to run, Epic has still made actually a lot of improvements to the rendering engine. Cause look how high the FPS is. I used to not be able to play Epic settings at 1440p and get 140 FPS. I would be getting about 110 or something like that. Um, or 90, I think I think it's actually 90. So you can just see how, how freaking gorgeous the game still looks even without Nanite and Lumen. You can see actually the rocks still exist. I'd say they, they looked better on Nanite and Lumen. They look a little like blown up. Cause now we're using levels of detail to render like foliage and trees. With, with foliage, it's the most important thing. You see like how the texture of the trees are so much different over there. But it, like, I just love that too. Like they have a fucking texture and they have a bump map too. And it just looks gorgeous. Do you see that shit? Hmm. It's right here. But see, see the bush looks actually very different. Um, my opinion before stuff was shining through this bush but now the bush is almost like it's completely opaque which isn't very natural you can see that the trees from a distance are definitely lower quality i think it still looks gorgeous and i've over doubled my fps because if you just see that i'm getting over 140 fps epic has definitely optimized the rendering and pipeline for for fortnite and man looks good without nanite and lumen so i think this is getting to like a 
almost like a situation where it's very similar to how it used to be. So like you could always before turn on ray tracing in Fortnite. Would you ever want to turn on ray tracing in Fortnite? No, you would never want to because your FPS would drop from like 140 to like 60. If that, like you're usually at like 50. It's like, okay, it's not worth it. <laughs> Things like this always come at a huge cost if you want to get to the bleeding edge of technology. What I want to look at here for the end of the video is the the difference between the traditional rendering, the Nanite and Lumen. So if you're curious of how all of these look, we're going to take a quick second and check out each of these on the water here. Let's get into it. So here is what reflections look like without Nanite and Lumen. So this is traditional rendering methods. This is them taking what's on your screen saying, oh, this is a reflective surface on the water. We just are going to copy paste the texture and flop it onto the water. <laughs> that's that's literally how you render this method out. You can only see things that are on your screen. So like if, if you were to use actual ray tracing, you would be able to see reflections of things that aren't even on screen. Holy shit, the reflection is very different. You'll notice, so this is Nanite and Lumen. There's actually, you see the textures on this are very different from the textures that are actually up here. But you can see it's reflecting things that aren't even on the screen. You can't see those trees. It's kind of like it imagines that these things, these aren't on screen. It imagines what these are at without taxing your system super hard. But you can see everything that is on screen is very detailed because it's able to actually reflect that, but it doesn't want to take up too many resources like rendering these and they're not even on your screen. So it just uses a lower quality. With, with Nanite and Lumen, it looks like we're getting about 70 to 80 FPS at max. Um, this is on the RTX 3080, so a pretty powerful GPU. We're gonna move on to the hardest level to run here, and that is going to be hardware ray tracing. In order to use hardware ray tracing, you have to adjust it while you're in your lobby, and then you have to restart your game. All right, we're back in game here. Actually, looks like we're getting very similar FPS to Nanite and Lumen. Um, about 70 FPS, actually pretty playable, not gonna lie. I wanna see if we can see differences between these. So here we are, about in the same scene. I can tell that the reflections look very different. I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but they look very different. The trees look very dark. That is hardware ray tracing. So if, if you actually wanted to run a RTX 3080 at 1440p, you could, you could actually probably run at this Epic setting with hardware ray tracing and maybe be okay. Epic has made a lot of changes to the Fortnite engine. When you hop into a new game, it, it kind of looks crazy with how much is actually going on. Uh, yeah, the game looks so different and it's way more demanding when you first boot it up. Hopefully this uh, has provided some answers for you. And if you want better FPS, just turn off Fortnite. It's really that simple. I'm glad they just made it like a one button toggle. It's very overwhelming with how many settings are in the game currently. I think the grass might be too much in the game. I think they should cut down on it, but it's not that bad looking either. So, um, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and uh, hit the like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.